Welcome back to the channel everyone. In today's episode we're going to look at our 12 volt electrical system. We're going to be looking into this in three stages, our charging, our batteries and our appliances. So let's charge into it. God. We've got two types of charging installed in our van. So we've got the solar panels up on the roof and then we've installed a battery to battery charger which we've hooked up with an ignition live so that that comes on and charges from the van battery whenever we turn the van on. And we've done a detailed video of that so we'll link that up there somewhere. For our solar power we have four panels of 160 watts each which gives us a total of 640 watts in our system now we've chosen to wire these in series parallel for those of you that don't know when you wire in series it looks a little bit like this where you connect the positive to the negative and so on in a line whereas if you wire in parallel it looks a bit like this and that's where you connect the positive to the positive to the positive and the negative to the negative to the negative the key difference between these two that you need to keep in mind when wiring up your solar panels is that in a series circuit you add the voltages and the amps stay the same whereas in a parallel circuit you add the amps together but the voltages stay the same there's advantages to both series and parallel and we're going to do a separate video when we talk about sizing your system where we'll go into the pros and cons of those in more detail in our system we've decided to wire in what's called series parallel and that should give us a good balance of these pros and cons or these uh positives and negatives if you will. We've installed our batteries under our bench seat along with our MPPT solar charge controller. Now this is a critical bit of kit that sits between our solar and our batteries. The job of the solar charge controller is to transform the current and voltage coming from the solar panels into the best current and voltage to charge the battery at that point. There's two types of charge controller that you can get. There's either MPPT or there's PWM. Now MPPTs are about 30% more efficient, whereas PWMs are slightly cheaper. But because of that efficiency gain, we've decided we'd want an MPPT. Our MPPT is by Victron, which lets us use their app to monitor our system. We've also installed a solar disconnect switch, which lets us completely isolate our solar from the MPPT when we're working on the system. When it comes to installing leisure batteries in your conversion, there's a few different battery types you can choose from, and we'll discuss those more in another video. But for now, we've opted for lithium iron phosphate or LiPo4 batteries. These do have the highest initial cost of any of the options, but they should last longer. And unlike a lot of the others, you can use almost all of their capacity without damaging the batteries. We've got two 12 volt batteries, each at 216 amp hours, and we've wired those in parallel, which as we mentioned earlier, will keep that voltage at 12 volts, but it will add those amperages together. So we've got 432 amp hours of capacity. The first thing we've got coming off the positive side of our batteries is another disconnect switch, which lets us turn off the entire electrical system from one switch. After this, we go into a fuse block. The reason we have this here is because every positive wire that comes off the battery terminals should be fused. So this fuse block has the positive connection for our battery to battery charger, our MPPT, and it also has the positive connections for our two other fuse blocks which control our appliances. We've installed the fuse blocks for our appliances up here in our overhead cupboard. Up here we've got two fuse blocks and each appliance is independently fused and those fuses protect their smaller wires. It's important to remember that the fuses are there to protect the wires and so you've got to size them correctly and we'll be doing a more detailed video on how to size your wires and your fuses later on. Finally, on the negative side of our system, each of our negative wires goes to a smart shunt before connecting to the battery and this lets us monitor our battery usage and current draw in real time. You may have noticed that in this video we've only been talking about positive and negative cables and that's because our entire system is run off 12 volts DC and that doesn't need an earth cable. You can install an inverter which will let you run off mains voltage, however we're not going to do that because every appliance that we're planning on running you can get in a 12 volt version. 
that's the high level overview of the electrical system we've installed in our van conversion. So if you do have any questions about any of that, do let us know in the comments below and we'll do our best to answer them. We will be releasing a few more videos that go into a lot more detail on things like sizing your system and some other topics. So if there is anything you want to hear about in those videos, let us know that too. And we'll see you in the future for another video. Ha <laughs> ha!